so in 1952 we are talking about the year 1952 i was as old as i the person here was as old as the number formed by the last two digits of my birth year right so the age of the person the age of the person i was as old as meaning what the age of the person is equal to the number that is formed by the last two digits of the birth year the number formed by the last two digits of the birth year now when i mentioned this to my grandfather when this person has mentioned this to the uh, you know to his or her grandfather the grandfather surprised by saying that the same is applicable to him as well which means even the grandfather's age is equal to the last two digits of the birth year right even the grandfather's age is equal to the last two digits of the birth year what is the difference in our ages is the question what is the difference in our ages is the question right now it's very easy to find out the age of the grandchild you understand it's easy to find out the age of the grandchild simple see let's assume that the age of the grandchild age of the grandchild right son or daughter is not known to us the age of the grandchild is equal to a now the point made here is that i was as old as the number formed by the last two digits of my birth year last two digits of my birth year you get it last two digits of my birth year so basically it is it is like this see uh, age of the grandchild a is like it can be a two digit number this is a numerical value right it's a two digit number let's say right now a itself is the last two digits of the birth year again don't get confused i mean a is a single it's a variable right so it looks like one digit only but instead of taking a b or x y i'm just taking a number a the age of the grandchild is a and this a should represent the last two digits of the birth year now how do you actually find out your age your age is nothing but the current i mean your current age is nothing but the current year minus your the current year minus your year of birth you are able to follow for example let's say the year of birth year of birth equals to 1930 example this is an assumption right so what is your age your age will be equal to 1952 current age minus 1930 which is like 22 years and if you observe this has got nothing to do with the 19th uh, you know uh, 20th century that 1900 can be removed year of birth is 30 30 last two digits are important so current age will be the last two digits of the current year minus the last two digits of the year of birth so 52 minus 30 is 22 right so going by this logic i can say that i mean let's let's forget about 1952 let's say 52 52 right so from 52 the numerical value 52 if i subtract my year of birth understand this a is year of birth as well as the age of the child so i can say the age of the grandchild a is equal to 52 minus a you getting it i was as old as i was as old as means my age a is equal to the number formed by the last two digits of my birth year so how do you get the age of the person last two digits of the current year minus last two digits of the birth year so 52 minus a simple logic i mean like i said nothing about equations here we are, while we are trying to solve using equations it's about basic uh, reasoning so a equals to 52 minus a which implies 2a is 52 or a is equal to 26 which means the year of birth year of birth is equals to 1926 and you can quickly verify this if i am born in 1926 in 1952 my age is 26 so last two digits 26 my age 26 yes or no are you able to follow so year of birth of grandchild year of birth of the grandchild simple verification options are given so let's keep it simple once we have got one of the uh, years of birth of of one of the persons we need not work so much for the other person there it is easy to ratify using the options so what we have figured out is the year of birth of the grandchild is 1926 again if you want to verify check 1952 minus 1926 is 26 and last two digits of the year of birth is 26 so equation is balanced right the first statement is satisfied the first condition is satisfied now just verify using the options the best part is options have been given to us what is he asking us to find out i mean we know that for the grandfather also the same thing is applicable now instead of finding out the year of birth of grandfather you just go by options he is asking us to find out the difference in our ages what is the difference in our ages our ages meaning what i's age i as in the person's age and the grandfather's age let's go by options let's assume option 1 go by option 1 let's assume option 1 is correct option 1 which is 40 according to option 1 the difference in their ages is 40 which means if i was born in 1926 the grandfather was born in which year 1926 minus 40 40 years earlier right 1926 minus 40 which is 1886 
grandfather's year of birth is 1886. How do we get this? 1926. See, we have found that my present age is 1926. Minus 40. See, don't add. Because grandfather's age is more, don't add 40. Age is more. Year of birth will be lesser, right? So, we are finding out the year of birth. So, 1926 minus 40 is 1886. Yes or no? 1886. Now, just... Verify. What is the second statement? I mean, what is the second statement says? The grandfather said that the same is applicable to him as well. Which means, what is what same is applicable meaning what? I am as old as my year of birth. So, basically, according to the question, grandfather's age is 86. Is it 86? Check. 1952 minus 1886 is equal to what? Uh, 52 plus 14, right? 66. Uh, yes or no? 52 plus 14 is 66. But this is not equal to 86 which will be the age according to the given data. So option 1 is wrong. 66 not 86. So option 1 is wrong. Eliminated. Go by option 2. Option 2. According to option 2, the difference in the result is 50, which means the grandfather's year of birth will be how much? 1926 minus 50, which is 1876. Which means according to second option, the grandfather's age is 76 years. Grandfather's age should be 76 years. Check. How do you check? Current year is 1952. From 1952, if I subtract 1876, will I get 76 or not is a question. Is it equal to 76? 52 plus 24, 76. Yes, this is equal to 76. Is the second condition satisfied? Yes. The grandfather's age is equal to the last two digits of the year of the birth. Hence, option 2 is a correct answer.